What's going on, Thorn Army? Joe here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you what's in my box lacrosse gear bag as I head up uh, to Onondaga, kind of the Syracuse area, to play in the Lax All Stars Invitational with the Nova Scotia Privateers. We're gonna be playing some amazing teams up there. The Thompson brothers have put a team in, uh, the Czech team is coming over. We're gonna be playing Vermont, we're gonna be playing the Laser Sharks, another team I play for, and there's a few others that I don't know as well. But uh, it's gonna be an amazing time at the beautiful arena that they have up there. And uh, let's get it started. Here is my Nova Scotia Privateer Uncommon Fit Bag that I designed for the team. It's uh, pretty amazing, it's got the tartan in it, the name on the side, and then one side has our logo, and the other has our numbers. I wore 44 for box and four for field. Um, really love this bag, we went with the big one because it can fit a whole stick in it, because uh, we do travel a lot. Um, we're kind of a provincial travel team, and uh, just gotta love the tartan in it. So uh, let's get started. First up, we have my helmet, which is a Bauer React. Uh, absolutely love this helmet. I love how far it comes down on the front to kind of protect your, your front of your head, which I've had some issues with in the past. Uh, we went with black to match the team. It's got silver inserts in it. And then um, I kind of have an old Oxy kind of throwback cage that I absolutely love. And I painted it blue with uh, like anodizing paint. So it looks like uh, it was anodized, but actually I just painted it and it got all beat up when we were over in Krogs, which I think makes it look even better. Went with the white loops on the side, which is just the thing I've kind of always done. I like the look of it. And then uh, put in Under Armour chin cup in it uh, that came with my other cage. And this is like really dirty from being outside. And uh, I don't know, just love the helmet. Good fit, uh, really, really nice tight fit to it, comfortable, very protective. And then it also has the privateer decals I did with head wraps going around, all the way around. Super clean and I love the black with the, the kind of electric blue with just a little bit of white. Next up, we have my shoulders, which are Maverick M3s. Uh, they're lightweight, they're breathable, uh, decent protection, pretty much all I really need. And I like that it has a really hard front sternum because I like to block a lot of shots or at least try to block a lot of shots and um, I don't have to be too afraid wearing this. And then I just kind of tied on these uh, really nice molded Under Armour kind of extended bicep pads. I just have them on the sidewall just so I don't lose them. And then it has a nice strap to it. So I don't really have to Velcro or it has a Velcro strap. So I don't really have to electrical tape them, which I like. Um, sometimes electrical tape, especially when you're going from hot to cold from the locker room out, uh, just kind of gets really annoying. And uh, they're really comfortable, uh, flexible, breathable, and pretty much as much protection as I need. Underneath that, I just have the base under Armour rib pads. Um, I like these ones because they're not cut too high, but they go pretty high up on the back. I tend to get cross-checked a lot in the back because I kind of turn to protect my stick and try and get low on the guy. So I like that they go a little bit higher in the back, but cut a little bit lower in the front. So they don't get too much in the way. Um, you don't really ever notice them when you're wearing them, which I really like. And uh, I like kind of a stormtrooper look to them, but they're, they're rib pads, they're hard plastic with a little bit of padding. Can't really ask for anything more. Next up are the elbows, which match the biceps. They got that cool Stormtrooper look to it. And I believe these are the NLL issue. I think it has to do with what the Under Armour logo, what color it is in. Um, Cause I've tried to buy other pairs or reference them to other people um, once they see these, but I can't find them anywhere. And I got them through Under Armour. So I think they might be the actual uh, NLL ones. I love them. They're super tight and they have nice grip on the inside. So when they, kind of the elbow cap that's caught on things. It doesn't really look like, you know, go way down in your arm and kind of interrupt your kind of wrist movement. And they land pretty perfect where the bicep ends. They're a little bit smaller than I would like, but I've actually found that to be pretty nice. Um, I haven't got chewed up too badly unless I put myself in a situation where I shouldn't be. And uh, they, they function great. I like that they match the, the biceps and it's like, you know, just hard plastic with a nice sleeve. I mean, if you're getting beat on, this is what you want. Next up, we have the gloves, which is the thing I'm probably most excited to wear, and that are my Brine Exodus 2s. Um, if you didn't notice, one's white and one's black, which I think is super funny. Chris actually got me these for my birthday. Um, he found them at like a Play It Again or something like that, and uh, they're just super cool. These were like my favorite gloves of all time. Um, I mean, arguably, they're probably the best gloves of all time. They have the carbon fiber in it with like the snake skin. Uh, they are just the coolest things in the world, a part of the Mikey Paula line. And uh, I don't know, I just really wish that I still had a pair and he was able to find one and give it to me. And I think I'm gonna use them, just, uh, it'd be cool to use them for this tournament and then just kind of hang them up. But uh, they're just awesome and I kind of love that the black and white goes with kind of all the other on our own stuff. And it's super weird with one being a little bit more black, but I think it's cool. It's a different look and if you're gonna rock something, you know, kind of somewhat retro and kind of throwback coolness like this, it's, it's kind of fun when they don't match. 
I think you guys know by now I really enjoy the footwear aspect of playing box lacrosse because I do, in fact, really love sneakers. And lately I've been wearing the Under Armour Curries uh, that I really love. They actually performed amazingly, but they were actually ganked onto my bag a few weeks ago at a game. Super sad about that, so I kind of had to go to the vault, go to kind of the shoe closet and figure out what I wanted to wear. We are the Nova Scotia Privateers, but we're playing under the Halifax Hustle as kind of provincial regulations. And that team has a bunch more gray in their jerseys. They're still kind of blue, black, and white, but they have a little more gray. So I thought it'd be super cool to whip out the Nike Kobe 9 Elite details. Thought that'd be kind of just a, a cool thing to whip out. I've actually never played in this. I've played in my other um, uh, 9 Elites, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of use the gray and with a little bit of yellow. It also kind of goes with the stick. I'm about to show you in a second. And also we're playing the Thompson Brothers and stuff like that. So I thought wearing um, some Nikes would be a cool narrative because we always kind of comment on each other's shoes when we see each other. So I thought it'd be fun to play in these uh, and they just look amazing and I love playing in them pretty much. Before we get in the sticks, I just want to wrap up kind of the two side compartments. Um, one just has kind of the apparel in it. So it'll have like uh, a practice jersey, an extra pair of socks, compression, and then when I get my jerseys and stuff, I'll throw them in there. And I usually put that on the side with my number just because it kind of works in my brain that all of my jerseys and stuff are on the side with the number so I don't have to guess every single time. And then on the other side, um, I have kind of the normal stuff like a water bottle. And then I have kind of this throwback throne bag that I've had in here since we started thrown and doing all this. And it just kind of has all my little odds and ends. So it'll have like a bunch of tape. It'll have a lead, which you definitely need after playing box lacrosse. An extra chin cup for someone, lighters, electrical tape, a mouth guard in case someone yells at me and then I pretend to wear it. Um, what else is there? Screwdrivers. Um, if you want to be a good teammate, get a bunch of helmet stuff because a lot of people show up with the wrong cage or a not legal helmet and you got to make it legal for them. And then uh, it's also got a GoPro mount in here if I want to do that, a screwdriver, and you guys pretty good. And then again, more helmet snaps. You'll be a lifesaver if you have some of those and some tape. So I just throw that in there. And uh, I also usually have eye black if we're going to be playing um, in Prague because a lot of guys forget to bring that. And then one thing that I think every bag needs and a lot of people don't have is some fresh balls. I don't know how many times I have gone to games, tournaments, photo shoots, video shoots, and no one packed balls. So I always bring them and I kind of trade them for things. I'm like, oh, you need a ball to play? Well, you know, blah, 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 I need this. And usually you get to play for free or something if you just bring like a $2 ball um, because you would not believe how many times I've shown up and people didn't have balls to play a game, which I think is absolutely hilarious. All right, so that's kind of all the gear and kind of the accessories. Let's get into the sticks. First up, you guys have seen this one. I put it together in one of the throne rooms. Uh, this is my Nova Scotia Privateer Centric. Uh, this thing has served me very, very well. It's probably the most lethal stick I've ever had in terms of just shooting. When I shoot and I want it to go, it goes and it usually goes in, which has been quite enjoyable. Um, Chris and I did this die. It's got black and has the Nova Scotia motto across the top and the script. If you want to see me put together this stick, definitely check out the video in the top right hand corner. And then it's got my box and my little logo. Strung up with the W44 with uh, the cobalt um, fiber spectrum system. And then the only thing kind of different, this is it got a black nylon, which is super sick. And we'll be coming out with those soon. Uh, pocket, head, mesh, everything's held up great. Um, of course, I'm playing box, so mine's just bagged out a little bit more than when you guys get them from us and when we first strung this thing up. Um, just because with the kind of also of the centric, I'm, I'm able to get a really deep pocket to it without having too much issues, which I absolutely love. And uh, this is on just kind of a prototype titanium shaft um, that we are working on that I don't know if we'll ever actually make. I just thought it'd be cool to see what we can do. I've always really loved uh, titanium shafts and um, this one's held up pretty good. It's only got one dent in it and I've been using it for months. So uh, just love it. Everyone, some people complain about the weight, but I kind of like the balance of it. And when I know when I hit someone, I'm not the biggest guy. So if I hit someone, they're going to feel it with a Titan shaft. And uh, that's about it. Absolutely love the stick. The balance is really perfect for box. I'm able to really get one hand on the stick, pick up the ball without it feeling too top heavy. Uh, it's got a nice balance to it. Cross checking is pretty solid and uh, nice, quick, accurate release with a ton of hold. Uh, pretty much perfect for me and this will probably be my number one for this weekend and I'm going to show you the new number two. 
So my backup stick for this weekend is the one that you guys saw me string in another episode of Throne Room. If you wanna check me string this out and show you how to do it, definitely hit the eye in the top right hand corner. It is the new Maverick Tactic. Um, this head strings up really nice with kind of my style pocket to it. Um, it's got the drop top string to it. Well, it's a type I pocket that we'll be releasing soon. It's got the drop top string to it with the new uh, Citroen uh, fiber spectrum. Absolutely love the yellow with the yellow fade and then just got the throne written right here, which I think is tough. A little logo on the back. Black string going all around, white nylon black shooters and nice to find mid to it. Beautiful channel. Um, it's kind of hard to show like that. There you go. Um, I usually use a universal head. I've been doing it for a while now. And uh, it's not really that big of a difference, especially if you are a talented stringer, you can kind of get around it. And uh, you just never drop a ball, which I think is vital to being a lacrosse player. It's like, if you can't catch a pass when you need to, you're not gonna be you know, helping your team out at all. So I like the kind of wider head, and then I just string a little bit more aggressively. And this thing has, has been pretty lethal. I'm kind of shooting around in the back. I've absolutely loved uh, the feel to it. And uh, we just threw that on, on uh, one of my favorite shafts that Maverick has ever made, which is kind of one of the throwback A1s. Uh, just thought it'd be cool to put it on a metal shaft to kind of see how it felt compared to my other one. But um, I don't know if this will totally hold up. I have used this in the past for box, um, but we're playing, we're playing some real teams this weekend. So I'll, if that stick goes, um, I'll probably switch the shaft over and the gray would look really nice in this as well. Um, it kind of goes with the shoes, which is, you know, that's half the game right there. But uh, this is the new number two. Really confident in my sticks right now, which is a great feeling. I usually kind of have one that I love and another one that like, you know, if I have to, I can use it. But right now I feel very comfortable with both of these and uh, they have a similar feel to them. One's just got a little bit more kind of like ball rattling hold and the other one's a little bit got a harder shot. So depends on kind of what end of the floor I end up being on, depending on, you know, who shows up kind of condition they're in and also uh, injury wise uh, I usually kind of bounce around a little bit during tournaments because uh, I take it pretty serious and I like to try and stay healthy and that is my gear bag for the LAX All-Stars Invitational um, as always let me know what your favorite part of it is in the comments below and be sure to check out LAX All-Stars uh, YouTube page I'll put a link in the top right hand corner because they're going to be streaming all the games uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They're doing an amazing job over there. I cannot wait to get up to Onondaga and see all my friends and play some true, amazing box lacrosse. It's everything. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the field.